The Indian Navy is using the largest number of Indian systems compared to the IAF and Indian Army. The Navy has the maximum number of made in India vessels which have been mostly developed and designed in Bharat. Despite all this, Bharat is still facing a major challenge in its shipbuilding industry. Even though it is still upgrading its engines and vessels and has the capabilities to make the indigenous aircraft carriers, but it does not have the maritime gas turbine engines to use it. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Do subscribe and comment with your views. Till now, most of the Indian vessels have used the engines of Ukraine's Zoira Mashpet. However, supply chain disruptions from the ongoing war has opened Bharat's eyes on over-dependence on either Russia or Ukraine. The Indian Navy has recently confirmed the use of futuristic hybrid and electric propulsion system in its future vessels in place of the existing propulsion system. Navy's upcoming next-generation destroyers will have hybrid propulsion system. Let's try to understand what is a hybrid and electric propulsion system. Hybrid electric propulsion systems combine fuel burning engines with electric motors and batteries, create opportunities to significantly improve aircraft fuel efficiency and lower carbon dioxide emissions, while also offering a potential reduction in maintenance costs. In other words, electric propulsion is a class of space propulsion which makes use of electrical power to accelerate a propellant by different possible electrical and or magnetic means. The use of electrical power enhances the propulsive performance in the EP thrusters compared with conventional chemical thrusters. In alignment with the Make in India initiative and defense acquisition policy, the Indian Navy is now also looking for local engine solutions. Cat Marine, a subsidiary of Caterpillar Marine, has signed a memorandum of understanding with Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited, a premier shipbuilding company under the Ministry of Defense. Caterpillar Marine is introducing medium speed and high performance engines tailored exclusively for the Indian Navy and Coast Guard. From its origin as a tractor company, Caterpillar has been producing reliable, durable marine engines since the 1930s. The Indian Navy requires powerful and reliable medium-sized marine engines ranging from 3 MW to 10 MW in power. That can adapt to diverse vessel sizes and missions, ensuring operational readiness, performance and national security. These engines strike a balance between power and efficiency, making them versatile enough to meet the requirements of different vessel types and missions. Their adaptability and reliability in various operational scenarios make them a perfect fit for Navy's diverse needs. What sets the Cat Marine engine's design apart is its remarkable power density. This means our engines can deliver a significant amount of energy while maintaining a compact size, ensuring efficiency, durability, and reliability. Focus is also on reduced emissions and noise, aligning with environmental regulations, and provide comprehensive technical support, including a robust supply chain to keep naval vessels running smoothly. The company will be there throughout the engine's life cycle, from design to installation. The local manufacturing capabilities further enhance our commitment to ensuring the Indian Navy's operational readiness and mission success. Apart from this, Bharat has also been in talks with France and UK recently, and it has come to light that Rolls-Royce will offer its hybrid propulsion system to Bharat for Indian Navy's next-generation destroyer fleet. The name of the engine is MT-30, which is a single unit and can unknown generate power of 36 to 40 megawatt. Multiple engines are used to generate same power in the current conventional propulsion system. Hence, the Rolls-Royce engine, apart from being lighter in weight in comparison to the conventional engine, will occupy lesser space if it were to be integrated in any vessel. This engine is silent when in operational mode 
has the ability to give our next generation destroyers the ability to achieve full speed within minutes. The MT-30 series engine, if need be, can be integrated with additional engines and conventional diesel electric propulsion systems and can be operated as a hybrid unit. In Bharat, with its vast coastline and strategic maritime interests, the need for sustainable and efficient engines is important. This is particularly crucial for the Indian Navy, which operates in ecologically sensitive areas as well. The adoption of dual fuel engine technology capable of running on alternative fuels such as natural gas or biofuels offers versatility and minimizes reliance on traditional fossil fuels. Such advancements and innovations in advanced engine solutions can ensure that defense operations are in tune with worldwide environmental goals. Jai Hind!